It's for sale. Oh yeah. You can hold it down in Alabama if you want. I know. I could drive it down. They have a a, a wagon train that goes from up here to Alabama once a year. Have you ever heard of that? No. Yep, they sure do. It's the rats. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I didn't notice you have that Halloween shirt on the pumpkins and the owl. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is uh, Todd's father built this. He built it. Wow. Built the, built the whole thing. Man, he has some skills. I'll go. I'll built go in it. Yeah, he built the house too. What? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, the retired carpenter. Wonder if they're even up yet. They're up. So far here. I love the stonework. This is our buddy Sam. Hey, how's it going? Hello, Sam. Good to meet you. I'm Dwight. Dwight. Good to meet you, Dwight. Hey, huh? Renee wandered off down oh, there. Oh, okay. What are they doing up here? Mom, come over here. Come, oh, in the other direction. come on, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm here with uh, Todd and Renee and... Todd's dad. Dwight. Dwight. Get a little bit closer, Mr. Wow. Dwight. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Jones and wow. the other Mr. and Mrs. Jones. Yep. <laughs> and uh, we're you, getting ready to head to the flea market. You you Smiths need to uh, keep up with the Joneses. You know yeah. <laughs> I think the Joneses got the Smiths beat today because <laughs> there's four of y'all and only one of me. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a tractor. And you have a and you have a wagon. Wagon, yeah. You have a wagon and a tractor. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got it. If you John want it, Deere. you got it. John Deere, nonetheless. Yeah. Yeah. Poles they put in out here that make you fish together. They take them all out and they put one sheet of pole. Okay. Over in the hill over there, they dozed roads in. Wow. And where it was fairly level, they put those things in. Uh huh. And where it sloped off, they dug it out and they put in these great big rocks. Hey, oh, dear. Pop. Hi, honey. <laughs> How are you? Oh, good. How are you? Good, good. Good, good. good to you, see you. What do you? Look at we uh, we brought him from Alabama. With a banjo on his knee. With a banjo on his <laughs> knee. And he uh, he saw your wagon from the road. You know, with Jack telling them going by that you might sell it. Yeah, yeah. I have a couple people interested. Good. So. Um, he says you're a carpenter. A wood butcher. Yeah. <laughs> that's, you know, that's one of the uh, best professions in the world, wasn't uh, Jesus? A yeah, yeah. He carpenter. started it, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Pop, I, was, I showed him your, the, you know, the museum. Oh, okay. And I said maybe he would want to go in there and see it. Yeah. You have the key yet? I have the key. Yeah. We have the key to the museum. <laughs> yeah, I would like to get a tour and put that on video. Sure. Would you believe two years ago I had to be so upset about that? Yes, I know. For some reason, it don't bother me. <laughs> Who? Well, and you're not mowing grass this time of year, for the most part. What? What's what's going on up there? Care of it. It, poles in. See all the six poles? There's three sets of three yeah. sets of poles. Yeah. They're taking them all out and they're putting one pole in. Oh, yeah, but they're not taking um domain of it. It's still your property. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh it's yeah. The right of way they bought that back in. Around 1950. Oh, when my okay. My father owned the property. Okay. And, and the one pole goes between the two that's there on okay. on my property. Oh, yeah. That's where the one pole goes. How many acres you got out here, Dwight? I only have about a little over half an acre. Okay. Oh, now. Just about three quarters of an acre. <laughs> yeah. Three quarters of an acre. Now. Yeah. yeah we're still yeah. between the field, the road, and halfway down there. Yeah. I was three weeks old when my parents moved in that house there. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was 70, 79 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you own that, this, that. You used to own that one. Yeah. yeah. All of it. Yeah. That's a beautiful view. I mean, you can see all the way down the rolling hills, all the way down to the next. You, mi you missed it by, what, two weeks for the, the hot air balloon festival? I, you know, we didn't see any. Didn't you see any no, this year? We didn't see any. 
There was a, there was a hot air balloon festival at in, at Warren County. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they usually come over the mountain. Years and years ago, the firehouse that those buildings across the street were not there. Yeah, yeah. And you could see all the way across. Now that's over. That's over. That's New Jersey over there. You know, what? Those mountains over there, New Jersey, because the Delaware River is right down over the hill here. Yeah. And you could see the town of Harmony and uh, Harmony. It's Harmony. Yeah, Harmony. Yeah. 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 Belvedere. I Belvedere's spent I Belvedere. spent some uh, of my formative years in uh, Fort at Fort Dix. I was in the Army before I joined the Air Force. And I was told that that was the armpit of America. Nah. Uh, Jersey. <laughs> you're, you're, yeah, you're told all, the, all those army folks are. <laughs> Actually, Fort, Fort Dix Fort area Polk. specifically. <laughs> yeah, I finished up at Fort Polk. Ah. I went to basic at Fort Jackson, South Carolina. I, I went to Fort Jackson, and at that time there wasn't room, so I went down to Fort Gordon, Georgia for my basics. And then I was stationed in Germany for 28 months. Ah. Did you serve in Vietnam or no? Just during that time, cause they I okay. got to I got to Germany in March of '64. Okay. So they kept me there. He was in Germany with my dad. <laughs> we didn't find that out until me and Todd's first Thanksgiving. So y'all knew each other, huh? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. They just they served. They probably, at, probably passed along the way. Yeah, they just served at the same time, but uh, we had Thanksgiving dinner, and then Todd proposed to me the next day but and Thanksgiving dinner we had both families together and they found out that they were in at the same time in the same place this is a beautiful place here when I was in business a guy from up near Bangor come over and he talked to me and I did a whole lot of work on his house and as we were talking one day he was stationed on the same post I was on Probably from here to my mom's house away, and we didn't know it. We were there at the same time. <laughs> so where all did you serve overseas? Just in Germany. Okay. Yeah. yeah, if I could have stayed there for 30 years in that duty, I'd stay. What, what, what was the city you were in? A little place called Wild Flicky. Wild It was up near the east-west border. Okay. Yeah. We had one third of the post, and the Bundeswehr had the other. And two that things. was before Vietnam, right? Oh, during Vietnam. During right. Vietnam. So, no, so you, since you were already permanent party there, you yeah. didn't get sent to Vietnam, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, they did send me back a little early. A little earlier, I was down at Fort Polk. I was pushing troops. When they left there, they went right to Vietnam. Yeah. What was your MOS? 11C40. Uh, heavy weapons, indirect fire. That's infantry, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Badass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, and when I got out of the army, so everybody you, was looking for somebody to direct fire for the mortars. You wore a you wore a you wore a turquoise cord on your arm, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. I know my stuff. Hey, now listen, I, the mic's on, and I'm standing next to him, so he sh he should be able to be yeah. heard, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it would look better last well last weekend during the weekend. It looked better. Yeah, it's look, losing a lot of leaves now. It yeah. looks it's I beautiful. I picked up one batch of right? and that was just starting to get red. Yeah, yeah I just you love know, how the sun coming through that makes it a beautiful orange color. The orange one down there. Yeah. 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 Yellow. That's a mutant of one of those. Okay. Um, you know, uh, in front of the house, our ours uh, flowers really expanded too. For the fall, I thought that was really crazy. Yeah, these, these are dying off now. There's not many flowers. On but them. ours, ours like uh, went crazy. We have a we have a big van with solar panels on it in front of the house now. Yeah. He's uh. <coughs> yeah. Charging his batteries up. He's charging his batteries. Yeah. Charging my solar generator. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. He uh, he likes the house. He's been shopping. <laughs> off my shelves. Oh, okay. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah, well, he picked 10 things already out of the basement and he said, you got to sell this, sell this. So we, I, I turned Todd's uh, table into a listing. Um, <laughs> you got to list this kind of table. You put it on there because Todd wants that table empty. He doesn't want stuff sitting on that table, so she's right. got to list those 10 things. The way to do it. Yeah. So they have me, yeah. I feel like I'm in boot camp here. <laughs> mm. Now, uh, you leave Tuesday morning? No, late late in the afternoon. You're going to Iceland. 
Wow. Yeah. What's in Iceland? Ice. The land. Well, I, th I heard Greenland was with the ice and Iceland was green. Aurora Borealis. Hot springs. Yeah. An active volcano. Yeah, I've never been there, so. So you're just going on vacation? Yeah. We had 20 years of marriage this year, and that was in July. And Congratulations. There was, there was too much going on in July, so we're getting there now. Good. <laughs> yeah. Hope you have a great time. I think so. All right, well, we're going up to Jacktown. You going up later? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So All Todd right. was telling me you built this house. Yeah. Back in 1970. 1970. Yeah. And I've done everything over just about three times since. <laughs> How long did it take you to build it? Well, I had it, I had it framed up and, and windows put on. And then I did the rest of it. So it took from March of one year. We lived in the garage. We lived, they lived in the garage. Lived in the garage, and, yeah. And it was February until we got out of the garage into the house. Yeah. And, and then we were still building in there. Yeah. Still doors and stuff like that. Yeah. Did you do all the plumbing and electrical yourself? Yeah. yeah. I didn't do electrical. I had somebody do okay. that. Okay. Because I didn't know that much about Back it. Back then, did you have to pull permits and all? Not at that time. No. Nothing. But I did all the plumbing, the heating, everything like so that. So this would be grandfathered in if you were to ever sell it. Oh, yeah. You don't have to worry about the permits. No. Beautiful, and the great room back at there. It's my favorite room in the, the yeah, whole place. Yeah, I was telling Todd I love that rock work in the front. Yeah. Where'd I, you get the rocks? Did you go to a quarry? <laughs> they're, they're fake rocks. They're lick them and stick them. Okay. <laughs> That's a, yeah. They're fake. They don't. They don't look fake. They look real. They're, it's called a Carolina lead stone. Ah. I did that uh, 20 years ago. Yeah. And somebody's doing an excellent job with the landscaping. Well, how we try hard. I was <laughs> brought up doing all the landscaping around here. If you could see pictures from years ago, the stone roads that were here and up there, and he taught me how to do yard work. And everything was, it was always nice and pristine. He likes his yard that way. It was kept that way. You mow one direction one week, you mow different direction different week. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. You're making him out to be a slave driver no, here. Come no, on. That's what kids are for. No. He was a very good teacher for that. <laughs> you know, when we were scouting, Kenny Root had, what, three boys and a girl? Yeah. And he used to have a big garden. And, and the guy that he hung around with, David, he says, I was introduced to slave labor when I was about seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you had the two. The we had the garden, too. Garden, too. Yeah. Yeah, we had a garden that down there was about 20, 25 feet wide and about, what, 100 feet long? 100 feet long. At, 100. Least, at least 100 feet. See that tree is down here? That white, that, that tree well, it started there? But almost where Which the flagpole is. It almost where the flagpole is and went all the way down, almost where that hump is down, down, down there. And it's about 25 feet wide. That was our garden. Okay. And it was just for the, for the three of us for the most part. But we grew everything in there. And then to more towards my senior years of high school and after that, he started getting into growing pumpkins. And the man could grow pumpkins like you wouldn't believe. They were only this big. Yeah. <laughs> you 50, see the one 50, this 70, year? 2,400 and some pounds. Holy crap. Gee. I forget where it was, Indiana or... That's pumpkins. what you should have, pumpkins in there and then sell pumpkins yeah. out of that. Pumpkins are too expensive though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're hooked up with two horses and not pull that thing away, drag the yeah. throw the house down, everything. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have horses? No. No. <laughs> don't, don't want any either. No. <laughs> what did you pull it with? No, he just made it out of the <laughs> uh, in the basement. So it's never been pulled by. No, no, no. No, no it's brand new. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah, we he no, he, brand new. he he built that in the basement and then it took it apart and then brought it outside. All the boys came over and carried it outside. Then he painted it and put, put it back it together. Down, down the shed down there. Those oh. wheels. How many pieces of wheels? Oh geez. Forty some pieces? Oh yeah, more than that. Did all the math to figure out all the angles. Now tell did you tell me about your blueprints? Where did you get the blueprints from? Oh, for the main blueprints, yeah, I got those from uh, Hanson Wheel and Wagon Works in South Dakota. Okay. And, and that's, that's how the main part is built. 
The only thing I didn't do, I didn't put brakes on it, because that's, I didn't think that was necessary for <laughs> as interested as they are. They have to hang in there and all kinds of stuff, so. Yeah. And I, and I made that wagon because I wanted to. <laughs> that's the only reason. <laughs> Why not? Yep. So can you hitch it to a vehicle? No, you could. Like, like for a wagon? I mean, like if you wanted to do like a fall harvest kind of thing where the kids get on the back? Oh, you could, yeah. Take them over at a taste of the tongue there. You know, you could do it, get get one of those, uh, what do they call them? Like on a, on a trailer. Yeah. The thing oh, a hitch. Ball. Yeah. You, you could bolt one on the tongue and just put it on a tractor. Yeah, go around. Or a four yep. wheeler. Yep. Say bye, Mrs. Jones and Mr. Jones. Take care. Bye. Okay, we're at Sladington's Market. And this is where Todd and Renee have a booth. And they sell stuff. Hey. See, all the other booths are white. Everything else is white. But we painted our booth blue. Now, I have a lot of empty spaces. So I need to restock, but I've been very, very. That thinking. means you've have been selling stuff. I sell this place. I sell. Yesterday I sold one of my one of my jugs. Here's the other jugs that I have up there. I like that that ashtray dragon. Oh, thank you. They think we're matching pair. Where'd you find those? These were all in the chicken coop at my grandparents. Farm. Wow. This one here, you see the price? I see that. So what I did is I cleaned it. Uh huh. I had to soak it to get the dirt and everything out of it. This was full of chicken poop. And then I took uh, a charcoal um, brisket. Uh huh. And I rubbed it with charcoal so you could see the words. It's the firm of uh, John Matthews. Well, it looks so clean. Yep, I cleaned it, and then I rubbed it with charcoal, and then I wiped the charcoal off. So I learned this from my uh, father-in-law. He does them to the gravestones from the Revolutionary War. Okay. So when the revolu when you see a gravestone and they're like white and all kind of flat, uh -huh. um, and you can't really read what it is, that's how you redo it. You put charcoal in where the grooves are. Ah. Uh -huh. So, yep. So that one's 425 bucks. This is another one. This one here is 125. And they all came from the same place. Yep, this is from the 1800s. And this one here, as you can see, this is tightly cored. Yep. Microbe killer. Number two. And then this one has no markings on it. What would have been stored in these? Um, probably, I would say probably kind of a whiskey maybe. Um, this is a brewing, so I would say probably some sort of a whiskey. Okay. Moonshine, whiskey, something like that. That's also from my grandparents' house, my great-grandparents, the barn. Uh-huh. Yep. But yeah, you have to excuse the. I have so. Look at this. That's a real wet wood. It is, yeah. Forty-five. That's a really good price for that. And it's forty-five dollars plus. It's twenty percent off for the October. So we have our October sale going on, twenty percent off. I've got two of these that are full of tobacco, and I can't sell them on eBay because they're full of tobacco. Yeah. Would you be interested? We can put them in this box and sell them here. Uh-huh. Um, as you can see... I've got to have this. My my grandfather worked for the A&P. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Okay. I'll just take it home. Um, as you can see when you turn around, 
I need to restock really badly because we have lots of empty shelf space. Lots of empty shelves. Well, that's a good thing, right? It is. Um, <laughs> it's hard to keep up here because it is so, so busy. You got some really good stuff. Thanks. Clement. Is that an old tray or is it a re... No, it's, it's the original. That's neat. That's original. Are you got, are these Weeble Wobbles? That's a Weeble Wobble. No, that's a um, uh, Fisher, Fisher Price. Fisher Price mm -hmm. boat. Yep. Now, do you remember this? You remember when you used to get your Coca Cola bottles in a plastic? Nope. A plastic. I don't remember con that. Container. Yep. 16 ounce bo glass bottles. We go in the containers. I have two of them left. I had floor to ceiling here with them. Really? Yeah. And you're down to two. I'm down to t my t last two. And actually, I had them all filled with bottles, too. And I only have two bottles left. I imagine the first... Uh, but I saw my stuff, like I said. This is... The bottles are $8. They're 20% uh -huh. off. All of our books are $1.25. Neat. This is uh, a spools from the electric company. We got them for free. Uh -huh. They're uh, spools. They were wrapped, the electric wire was wrapped on them. So we got them for free and we put them on top of each other and made a display stand. Okay. And I think it looks neat with it the does. natural wood. Yeah. I bet it was Booger getting it in here. Roll. You got a conveyor belt. She's working the horses, or while they're working the field. I think she's loading the cabbage and working the horses. Yes, she is. By, by vocal command. It's on the move. Okay, here we are at the uh, at one of the Amish houses. We just decided to stop and take a picture of this house. And there is the one working with mules and loading the cabbage and directing the mules. And there I am beside a carriage with horse with horses, an Amish carriage. And that was over at the market in the Amish uh, market. There I am on the left with an Amish hat inside the Amish market, and on the right is uh, the tobacco. We are here at Shady Maples, Shady Maples Smorgasbord, Smorgasbord, and we're going to partake of a smorgasbord. seafood smorgasbord, right? Is it we're seafood? Going to, we're going to consume mass quantities. Mass quantities. You're going to try crack corn. Give me crack corn. You're going to try some crack corn. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to trying this smorgasbord. Yeah. This is Shady Maple Smorgasbord. Board. <laughs> Have a great day. Be safe. Be well. All right. Let's go in and get something to eat. Yeah.
Sounds good to me. Sam's hungry. Maybe we'll do the gift shop after. Then you can walk it off, right? Then you can walk it off. I'm sure I'm not the only one here here that is hungry. I'm hungry. Yeah, we're all hungry. Hot is hungry too. Oh, hungry he's, too. he's almost hangry. No, he's like... <laughs> so this is the area's largest buffet. So wait till you go inside. It may be the largest one I've ever been to. Sir? Doesn't look like we got much of a line. At dinner time, this place is full, full. Uh -huh. and out the door. Out the door. When, you go, when we go to get seated, make sure you look at the pictures in the wall. They're 3D made pictures. Okay. They're beautiful. There's a beautiful... Kind of like the one you sold to the attorney? Yes, like that. And the beautiful one is right there, there in the front, too. They'll show you an orange man. See the moon? That's a green moon. This is a huge cuckoo clock, and it is a real cuckoo clock. It was made in 19, uh, second, uh, 1974. From Friedrichsburg, Germany, it's a black forest by the Schneider Clock Company. Price of $10,600 in 1974. Plus so in 1974, that was like $40,000. Yeah. Hi, I'm Phil Weaver, and I'm the son of Marvin and Miriam Weaver. There's the cuckoo. Yeah. And this is the this is the Weaver family. This is their. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Appreciate My husband is over in Nam. Let's see. You guys made it back safe today. Mm -hmm. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, so this is the biggest smorgasbord in... Ah, uh, is he videotaping? Hey, how are you? Hi. Is it okay if I videotape you? Yeah, I don't, I don't okay. care. Um, but just welcome back, everybody. Just remember that you're number one. And when you're finished, make sure you flip it over, okay? And I'll let you explain to him. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your Thank you over there. Enjoy. Is, is this the buffet bar? This is the buffet. When you walk in, this is one end, and it goes all the way down. I'm gonna walk down it first, and then come back. Wow. You want some fried rice? Yes. Okay. Over here. Yeah, there's three
I see they've got the um, sauerkraut and pork. Oh, yeah. Listen, this is what I want you to try. I want you to try some speckles. Uh huh. And I want you to try some cracked corn. Okay. okay. Just even a little teaspoon of it. Okay. I want you to try that. So that's cracked all right guys this is sam again uh i'm getting ready to close out this video but i wanted to uh, share with you how good the food was renee and todd and i we're all stuffed we ate so much and uh i feel like i'm on a sugar rush right now <laughs> well how many plates did you have sam only three that's all and, and then how many cakes did you have only two and then how much ice cream did you have uh one good dollop we ate a lot. Yes. You get your money for that. And you tried, you tried all, you tried speckle, and you tried uh, cracked corn, and apple butter, yep. and, and Amish cheese. So and you, I'm still licking my lips. You did good. Well, I appreciate you guys joining us on this video today, and if you liked it, be sure and give me a like and a thumbs up, and be sure and come back and see me on the next one, and also visit my friends Rat Stash on their YouTube channel. They have a great YouTube channel with great content, so go see them and check it out. And I'll see you on the next one. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.